Hi, I'm Pastor Kurt, and this is your five-minute Bible study. Today, we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. This is the annunciation of an angel Gabriel to Mary, telling her that she's going to give birth to Jesus. So this is a big moment. A lot of people are familiar with this scene. But one thing to remember is that this annunciation scene with Mary pairs well with the annunciation that we got in the previous story to Zechariah about the birth of John the Baptist. And I talked about that in the last video. In that scene, we had the angel appearing to an old, well-respected man saying that he and his wife are going to have a child. Here, we get the angel appearing to an unknown young woman saying that she's going to have a child. You have to read these stories in parallel, the story of the birth of John the Baptist and the story of the birth of Jesus. Well, in this scene with Mary, we hear that she is much perplexed by the angel's greeting, right? Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Well, I think that's putting it kind of calmly, much perplexed. I have a feeling that Mary was freaking out because when angels show up in the Bible, they're not cute little precious moments cherubs. They are terrifying. Because not everybody gets to see an angel, and when an angel shows up, the angel is delivering a message from God. That's what the word angel means. It's messenger of God. So when this angel suddenly shows up to talk to Mary, something big is about to go down. And so Mary's frightened, not only at the appearance of the angel, but, oh, oh, oh what's the angel going to tell me? But then the angel says, okay, do not be afraid, Mary. I have some news for you the angel says that she's going to give birth to Jesus. Well, of course, Mary then says, um, how can this be since I'm a virgin? Now, Mary is old enough to know how kids are born, so that's not her, her question. Her question is basically, why me? I, I'm, I'm too young. How could I even handle this responsibility? This is a lot being dropped on Mary in this moment. Here she is just going about her day, regular girl. She's probably in her teenage years. And she gets dropped this bomb that says that she is going to give birth to the Messiah. Right? How would you react if you got told that? Right? This is big news. Mary's entire life just got turned upside down in this little encounter here. So she's, she's terrified. She doesn't know what to think or do. Well, then the angel tells her about Elizabeth, who we heard just a moment ago, right? That Elizabeth, who everybody thought was too old to have a child, is about to have a child too. Then Mary says, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Now, how in the world did Mary switch from how can this be since I'm a virgin to let it be with me according to your word? Well, the thing that happens in between is that she is told about Elizabeth. I imagine that Mary thought, well, if Elizabeth could have a child, if God can make this happen for her, then maybe God can actually make it happen for me. Immediately after this encounter with the angel, we hear about Mary going to see Elizabeth. So she's just heard this news from the angel that Elizabeth, who everybody thought was too old to have a child, is pregnant. And now she's going to check it out for herself. She wants to see this. This is an incredible scene because it reminds us of a couple of important things. First, we know that Mary was chosen by God to bring Jesus into the world and that she kind of freaked out about it. We have high respect for Mary, but in a way, you have been called to bring Jesus into the world too. Granted, you're not giving physical birth to him, but God still calls you to bring him into the world, to show him to people. 
right? Also, think about this relationship between Mary and Elizabeth. They're, they're cousins. And so Mary is finding out that Elizabeth is going through this too. We will hear more about that dynamic and their relationship together in the next video. But for now, think about how God calls you to share Jesus with the world. Yes, it might be scary. Yes, you might be much perplexed by how to do this. But just as the angel told Mary, so the angel tells you, this is the work of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit was able to work through Mary, Mary was able to bring Jesus into the world. In the same way, because the Holy Spirit works through you, you are able to share Jesus with the world too. There's your five-minute Bible study for the day. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.